Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-2 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if the 1.5 meter long cord AB can withstand a maximum force of 3500 newtons, determine the force in cord BC and resistance Y so that a 200 kg crate can be supported. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw a free body diagram of point B. So if we consider point B, then we have some forces. Let's say this is our point B. Then we have one force which is acting downwards, the weight of this crate. And we have the tension of this cord BC and we have one more force which is inclined at some angles the tension in the string AB now this force is at some angle theta let's call this F A B this is F BC and this is the weight which is equal to 200 into 9.81 now we can also resolve this FAB force into two components along x and y axis so we have one vertical component and one horizontal component Let's call this F A B sine theta and this component is F A B cos theta. Now we have to use the equations of the equilibrium. So for the equations of equilibrium, we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FAB cos theta minus FBC equals to 0. So let's call this equation 1. And we have another equation which is sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0 I am considering up direction as positive so we have FAB sine theta minus the weight which is 200 into 9.81 equals to 0 and we have been given that FAB could be maximum up to 3500 newtons so FAB max could be 3500 newtons now if we substitute FAB equals to 3500 newtons into this equation then from here theta is equals to 34.1 degrees but we have to find the force FBC so what we have to do, we have to consider the equation 1, consider equation 1 and put all these values, all the known values, we have FAB which is 3500 newtons into cos 34.1 degree minus FBC equals to 0, so FBC is equals to 2898.37 newtons. Now we have found the force FBC. Now we have to find the second part of this problem, which is we have to find this distance y. This distance basically. So what we have to do? We can consider a triangle. If I draw a line here, a perpendicular line, 
then we have a right angle triangle let's call this point C so if we consider a triangle ABC consider triangle A B and C this angle right here is 34.1 degrees so I can use the ratio of sine theta to find this value y so sine 34.1 is equals to y upon the hypotenuse and hypotenuse is equals to 1.5 meters which is given into the problem because AB the hypotenuse is 1.5 meters so I can put it right here so from here y is equals to 0 0.841 meters let me write it here that A to B this length is 1.5 meters now, this is the answer to this problem I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.